Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna to be doing Destiny. Now, specifically, we're gonna be doing the Warlock Souls of Heroes armor guide. So if you are either almost done with the armor and you just need your Warlock, or if this is your very first one, I will help you get through it. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through very minute details like which weapons you should use and all that other jazz, mostly because I believe in, I believe in you enough that you know what to use and what not to use. If you don't comment below, I'm more than happy to share my knowledge of the game with you. But this is very much just like what I ended up doing with the with the armor quest steps. So, so before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification. I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general. That would really help me out. So on with the video. So let's begin with the helmet for the renewed armor set. If this is your first time, go pick it up from Eva Levante. And then after that, do an EAZ quest or do an EAZ event completion, which is basically the event uh, activity. Once you complete it, go back to Eva Levante. She'll give you the whole armor set. And from there, let's look at the whole armor. So. The helmet is going to be 50 precision final blows, one EAZ completion, and 100 Cabal defeated. Honestly, like I said with, with the other classes, helmet's going to be the easiest one. Don't worry about that one. Arms, five playlist strikes completed, 25 guardians defeated, 400 solar arc or void orbs created. Chest piece is going to be 10 solstice packages open, 100 arc orbs created in crucible or gambit, and five adventures completed. For the legs, it's going to be 50 kills in the EAZ with a void subclass equipped. 100 solar orbs created in strikes, 50 combatants killed, and last but not least, with the class item, which is five public events completed, five crucible slash gambit matches completed, and 50 super kills. So honestly, same thing as I said with the other classes, this one's pretty much simple. You're gonna wanna do momentum control right now. If you, momentum control is not available to you, then unfortunately you're gonna have to do either do another of the playlists or just control basic bitch control. I would tell you momentum control is the best one because you get to kill like the TDK is like one second. It's you can kill everything really fast. So essentially you could get a bunch of arc orbs created immediately because you could use like cold heart or insert stupid weapon here, literally. So for me, in my opinion, momentum, momentum control is the best. You need to do this right now in minimum, minimum. If this is your first character, Get all of the blue armor for each character that you plan on doing this with and just complete it. Just complete that, that section. Honestly, I would tell you if you really want to go hard at it or, you know, make it easier for you, complete all of the renewed armor set to Majestic and then do the PvP portions for that part. Because I promise you, momentum control literally makes everything faster. If I could quantify how many matches I would take with control to complete what I can complete in, in momentum control, it'd be like maybe seven to eight matches. So I did three to four maybe uh, momentum control matches, which would equate to like 14 to 16 on regular control, just because of how much I, how much kills I get how much more just everything really to be quite honest so honestly momentum control best thing to do if you don't have momentum control understandable just control at this point control or whatever one you find fancy i guess for the other stuff the five playlist strikes obviously just turn your brain off and do it the Arc orbs for the, the crucible is going to be super simple. Like I said, momentum control is your best friend. Just do this in portions, whatever, like try to double dip. If you're doing strikes, then you might as well do the 100 solar orbs created in strikes and the 400 solar arc or void orbs created. The other, other thing I could tell you is the whisper mission is really good for completing the miscellaneous ones like the 400 solar arc or void orbs created, the precision kills, like stuff like that's really good, but I would recommend you do that for the Majestic set. Although really you do whatever you want. So for my Warlock specifically, I ended up going with strikes, then momentum control, then public events, and then the EAZ. I think I left the EAZ last for a majority of it, only because I don't want to burn myself out from the EAZ considering 
I'm going to be farming a lot of EAZ so I can get some good armor. So, with the renewed set spoken of, let's look at the Majestic set. So the Majestic set is going to be, for the helmet, 600 kills in the Strike playlist, 200 Solar Arc or Void Orbs created in the EAZ, and 20 boss kills. For the arms, it's going to be 1,000 Solar Arc or Void Orbs created, 2,000 Elemental Final Blows, 100 Guardians defeated with Solar Weapons. For the chest piece, it's going to be 300 Void Weapon kills, 100 Ability kills, and 10 Gambit matches completed. For the legs, it's going to be 300 Hives defeated, 300 Solar Orbs created in the playlist, on the Strike playlist, and 10 Heroic Public Events. For the class item, it's going to be 150 Arc Super Final Blows, 200 Combatant kills, and five patrols on Titan. So, this is another example of the Whisper mission being the thing that helped me boost my my progress even more. So, for the 1000 Solar Arc or Void Orbs created and Elemental Final Blows and the 300 weapon, weapon kills plus the 100 ability kills and the Arc Super Final Blows, I completed all in the Whisper mission. That's a lot completion off of just like maybe 45 minutes of being in the Whisper mission. Now, my best my best advice for you would be to complete the Arc Super Kill. For the Arc Super Final Blows, I ended up using the Crown Tempest exotic, the helmet, which made everything just go by faster, plus top tree uh, arc. So that way, when you cast your super, when you have all of your ability uh, cooldowns active as in like you haven't used anything then your super not only is longer but the helmet itself also prolongs your super so you can get a bunch of kills i ended up using three supers to get my the whole 150 kills after you complete the arc kills go to nezarak sin with any void tree really except the middle tree i don't think middle tree is really good for this one but i ended up using top tree and just kill just kill stuff if you're using top tree you can charge your grenade which gives you a bunch of kills but also helps you with your nezarak sin uh cooldown which makes everything go faster honestly this one was a lot of fun because it was just me throwing my grenade and occasionally killing stuff with my with my void weapon honestly this one was probably the best one for double dipping considering everything was perfect literally everything was perfect so ability kills you're getting with your grenade void kills you're getting with the void weapon that you're using elemental final blows you're getting from literally everything except the guns and you're still creating orbs from everything so you're double dipping so hard like the arms alone you're already completed you just need solar weapon kills for your hundred guardians like that's how crazy this was you can literally almost complete one arm one armor just from that so not like honestly the only reason I didn't say this for the tight, the hunter is because the hunter really didn't have anything that crazy to double dip. At least I don't remember off the top of my head. I will definitely look right now just to see if I'm wrong. But the Titan and the Warlock had the best double dipping. I loved it. It was so much fun. So I just looked, yeah, it's the amount of double dipping you get for for the other classes. Not saying the hunter got gypped or anything. I'm not saying that. The hunter was very easy as well. It's just that... I don't know for like the warlocks literally like oh just one one arc kill or 150 arc kills but then after that it's pure void it was fucking fun and honestly after that the like i said momentum control is great get the 100 kills for with solar weapons use whatever the fuck you want you can use a trace rifle if you want guys this one was really easy and then after that honestly the one that's going to kill most people again is going to be the gambit matches the gambit matches is just something that <sighs> it's unfortunate it's very unfortunate i wish they did something like complete 10 gambit matches or like 10 survival matches or something i don't know i would have much preferred that considering gambit's just so horrible at times don't get me wrong i enjoyed my time most of the time like six out of the three six out of the ten matches i was having fun but those three matches really really got me mad so you know so honestly the way i did this because i literally just did this like a few hours ago i ended up doing what was it the strike first then the pvp then the eaz and then obviously the gambit matches were last the gambit matches were at last thankfully though i only had to do four matches because of my multiplier but even then four felt too much <laughs> but 
that's pretty much it uh we're gonna look at the magnificent set just in case you're curious for the helmet it's gonna be complete uh a nightfall in the master difficulty for the arms it's gonna be complete a night nightmare hunt for the chest it's gonna be complete a pit of heresy for the legs it's gonna be win seven matches of trials of osiris and for the class item it's gonna be three final bosses at the altar of stars defeated so again like i said in every video the legs is probably going to be something people do not go for, which I cannot blame them considering trials is pretty much hot, pretty much hot garbage. So, unfortunately, unless you find you know people who PvP or just LFG, you're probably not going to complete this. Which, granted, I might not complete this on all my characters. I'm definitely going to complete it on my hunter, but it's a lot to ask for seven wins, especially since apparently that the magna the like the multiplier doesn't work for that apparently i have not heard so that's unfortunate uh i would definitely hope that once you complete on one character then like the multiplier kicks in because at that point you'd only need four wins for your multiplier of three and then f four again i guess four yet yeah, four more for your times two but seven for the first time i don't know honestly this this event was a lot of fun i'm definitely going to talk about my experience with the event and then the grind itself it's going to be two separate videos because i think that's important but congratulations on your for, your first second or third armor set i definitely had a lot of fun making these videos because i don't know it's just a lot of fun yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below like always guys i see that a small majority of you that watch my videos are not subscribed if you can do me a favor and subscribe that would that would help me so much uh only if you like my content though uh like always guys be safe you know you guys don't know what's happening in the world and be happy and healthy and i will see you guys later